When he was first diagnosed, when they phoned me and gave me the diagnosis, at the back of my mind, I already knew the diagnosis, but I, I remember just picking him up, his tiny little thing, I just picking him up and looking him in the eyes and, and saying, I'm so sorry, I am really sorry, because I knew life was gonna be hard for him. Lloyd has Down syndrome and he loves people. He, he just loves people. Was always shy and took a while to open up to people, but everyone for him is the same. It's very hard for him to think in bad terms about any person that exists. Everyone is his friend and he loves being with people. It's so important for people with disabilities to be given a chance to have a job, to do meaningful work, to have that sense of achievement that we all love to have, to, to have that self-respect and, and dignity that comes with knowing that you, you're, you've got a place in the world. He was accepted into uh, the Transition to Work program. It's a great program which prepares all these young people for, for work. So over the two years, it does build up expectations. The parents and the young people themselves know that this is to get them a job. The, the idea of this, at the end of this, they're all going to be working. But the truth of it is that at the end of that two years, very few of them have a job. Their jobs are just, just simply not available. It's like a slow realisation gradually seeps into your brain that no, there, there, is, there is going to be no job offer and there is no possibility of, of getting a job. One of the breakthrough workers phoned me and uh, said, we've got a job for Lloyd. You cannot imagine the excitement. Uh, uh, honestly, you just could not imagine how excited we were. Joining Droga 5 was the most, just, the most wonderful thing. It just dropped out of the sky, really. He's been the one sorting out the problems, his own problems. And that's spilled over into every other aspect of his life as well. Quite amazing. You know, he does things that I would never have imagined him doing, just independently coming home and preparing something, preparing a meal, just, just, do, just being far more you know, self-confident. He knows people like him and people believe in him. And he knows it's not just his parents and his brothers sort of being nice, nice, nice to him all the time. It's, it's other people. It's been an enormous boost to his, his self-esteem, enormous. I see an acceptance of difference there, more so than I have noticed uh, anywhere else. And that could be the nature of the people who work in, in creative companies. People just, oh, I just have that little edge and that acceptance of difference and acceptance of, uh, of others. I got a coffee machine. You got coffee machine? Yeah. And what do you make? Cappuccino. Cappuccino, me too. Yeah. That's my favourite. So can, can, can I get a pen? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I like your smile. Oh, nice. thanks. People with disabilities not only make great employees with things like uh, less sick days, less absenteeism, uh, greater keenness, but there's also the intangible benefits. 
of a, a workplace that, that really appreciates that people with disabilities are employed there and it raises the morale of the general workplace. Our employees have embraced the idea of having Lloyd here. He's one of the, like, the real key people here, I've got to say. He's everyone's mate, as like you'll probably see when you walk around the building. He's always happy, like, you know, you always know when Lloyd's here. And the days he's not here, you really notice when he's not here. He might <laughs> come along to the section that we're working in and, and people are, you know, pretty stressy on the phone yeah. or whatever, and you, you can actually feel the... If you're wearing a new ring or a watch or a necklace or something, he'll be the first to pick it out. Be like, I like that. When did you get that? So I just got it last week. It's amazing how like sharp he is as well, because you literally get something on the weekend and on Monday he'll be coming, pointing out on your neck and like trying to have a look and say, I love blue, like it's awesome. Whenever I see Lloyd in the kitchen, um, you know, he'll he'll look at me and he'll go, I love work. And go, oh, it's so awesome. I wish more employees had that attitude. He's kind of like glue here, you know? He sticks a lot of things together. That's, it's an invisible glue, but it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty precious thing. What working with Lloyd brings is, is it just opens your mind to a huge group of, in society that are obviously less fortunate than you are. And you kind of think about it every day rather than, you know, once every year or whatever. A creative company is just a perfect place for someone with a, an intellectual disability. Breakthrough first came in here, they looked around and they said, do you know how rare it is that we get to bring people like Lloyd into environments like this? When it comes to things like giving people with disabilities work and you know, joining them, welcoming them into the industry, I don't think we're as advanced as we'd like to be on that. I like the creative community. I mean, as much as it drives me fucking batshit on a regular basis, just like everyone else, I don't want to be in another community. I want to be in this community. As a creative community, I think it's something that we should just do. Difference is our currency, and the people who are meant to celebrate differences in that are doing this thing, then I don't think we're doing our job. The best advocates for the employment of people with disabilities are companies that have actually employed people with disabilities. In reality, there is no reason to say no. There's no practical reason, there's no emotional reason, there's no financial reason to say no. Any company is not considering it, I can only hope that it's simply because they just haven't heard about it or don't understand how much an organisation like Breakthrough can actually um, make it all work for them. It's a very small investment in, in, in somebody that makes a huge contribution and a huge impact to the company. Initially, the outlay was minimal because the whole program subsidised, so it wasn't a financial consideration. There's always things that can be done but, and that don't need, you know, a PhD in advertising or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is that people... <laughs> We've failed as communicators if this comes across as something that you should do because it's the right thing to do. There's something really exciting about having uh, someone like Lloyd in the company. It's a catalyst, it's a kind of, it's a game changer. It's all those cliches that we talk about. I like, um, I like working at Edgeoke 5. I do the I do the tea, tea and coffee. I work the bench, the dishwasher, in the beef fridge, in the and shredding. And I like, I like the people. It's the best. Um, it's the best job I've I had. Yeah. Lloyd wanted to send a, a Christmas card to to everyone at Droga Five, but we we cut it down and we thought, well, well, we'll just send one Christmas card and I wanted to write a few words to everyone. So th this, is, this is what I wrote. Thank you to everyone at Droga 5 for helping Lloyd in his working life. 
I am especially grateful to those of you who have the most to do with organising and directing him, not, not to, to mention, mention listening, listening to all his stories. stories. Lloyd's opportunity to work at Droga 5 is worth more than you all could ever know. It is hard to get society to pay more than lip service to those struggling with disability. You have given Lloyd a life in the full sense of the word. You have given him dignity and self-worth, and I am forever grateful. Teresa. And I mean every word of it. <laughs> It's not hard and it's not scary and it's not difficult. I think people just need to give it a go. It just fits. We should do it. All young people with disabilities who want to work, they deserve this chance to show what they can do. To, to have a life. That's what we want. That's what we want for all of our kids.